Um, the fourth one I'm considering just open sourcing, you know, basically just describing the idea, saying this is what would be done, and, um, and if somebody wants to do it, then, then they can do it. Um, but I, I'm thinking like maybe I should patent it and then offer to open source the patent to anyone that can make a credible case that they could actually do it. Um, so I'm sort of debating it, but it would be for, for a fifth mode of transport. So right now we've got, of terrestrial transport, we've got planes, uh, trains, automobiles, and boats mm -hmm. um, for getting around Earth. Um, and well, what if there was a fifth mode? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I have a name for, it, name for it, which is called the Hyperloop. The Hyperloop? Uh, Hyperloop, yeah. Is yeah. it like a Jetsons tunnel? What? It's something like that, yeah. Look, um, you just get in it, it whisks you? Uh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you the characteristics. So this is partly prompted by the California train thing. Like yeah. we know we've got like a bullet train um, that, that's like, the, it's the, it has the dubious distinction of being the slowest bullet train um, <laughs> and the most expensive per mile. Um, Go California. <laughs> we got some superlatives there. Um, uh, so uh, we, we're setting records at both, you know, both ends of the, the wrong, the wrong, wrong ends, ends of, the, of, 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 of the spectrum. And, um, you know, we, we, apparently it's going to be like $60 billion or something uh, to go from San Francisco to LA. And if, it's, if they're saying 60 now, it's going to be more later. Right. Um, and of course, it's a really slow, and slow like, train. And to put this in perspective, 100 million got you into space. Well, it got me started. I mean, it got it got me to yeah. It suddenly got me to space and quite get, get, get me into orbit. Very close. Yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah. In terms of cap of of cap of venture capital investment, it's been a couple hundred million total, including outside investors. Mm -hmm. So, um, and SpaceX has been profitable for the last few years. So, um, I, I think we can do do something that's probably ten percent of the cost. And 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 I, I try to think of what are the attributes that you'd want in a new mode of transport. Um, in fact, what is the theoretically fastest way that you could get from LA to San Francisco? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and so, so the system I have in mind, which is you've, you've sort of you're guessing in the right direction. Um, is sort of how, how would you like something that uh, can never crash? Mm -hmm. um, it is immune to weather. Um, it goes. Uh, uh, three or four times faster than the, the, the sort of bullet train that's Your being built. Your supersonic jet. Well, it, it, will, it goes about, let's say, the, an average speed of twice uh, what, uh, what, what an aircraft would, would do. So you go from downtown LA to downtown San Francisco in under 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and it would cost you uh, much less um, than, than an air ticket or Part, much less than any other mode of transport, because the fundamental energy cost is, is so much lower. And I think uh, we could actually make it self-powering self -powering if you just, uh, if you put solar panels on it, um, mm -hmm. uh, it you, you, you generate, my rough back of the envelope is you generate more power uh, than, you, than you would consume in the system. Um, and there's a way to store the power so that it would run 24-7. Without using batteries, uh, so you, there's different you can you know, diff different ways to store energy. Um, anyway, so that's. Do you think this is possible? This is not just. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Wow, is there ever a time you retire?